Are you using hashtags in your posting on LinkedIn? The question I often get is, why bother? And I will admit, I really didn't get it either until I had an incredible experience with hashtags. A couple of years ago, I was teaching LinkedIn to job seekers class once a month. And every time I did this, I would have my assistant take a photo of me teaching and I would post something really simple on LinkedIn. Like, thanks everybody for coming out today to class. Good luck in your job search. One of these times I noticed that it was pro bono week and people were using the hashtag pro bono week. And I decided, oh, what the heck, I'll give it a try. The photo was terrible, fluorescent lighting. The copy was super bad. And generally for a post like that, I would get maybe 100 views. Within the first 48 hours of posting this one, I hit 2,000 views. By the end of that week, I had surpassed 4,000, more people than I had in my network. The only thing I have to attribute that to is the hashtag. So what's the deal with hashtags? What are they really all about? And the way I like to describe them is they're actually a community. So think of some of the causes and the values that you have, and I'm sure that there's a hashtag for that. A hashtag is also a key word and a descriptor. There's so much content out there. There's been a 70% increase in the activity in the newsfeed since last March. So how do you find something that's valuable and interesting? Hashtags can help you find the right content. And so your clients are also trying to find you using hashtags. So how can a, a small business owner use hashtags to their advantage? Let's say, for example, that you're an intentional business and there are tons of hashtags out there that could be useful to you to gain new followers. Intentional business being one of the hashtags that you should follow and participate in. Think of the keywords someone would use to find you, like back when we had the yellow pages. What words would they use? What descriptors would they look for for your goods and services? What are the solutions that you have to offer? And each post might be completely different. Experiment and see how they can work for you. 